I guess in this video I'm going to discuss about how to write SQL query in Visual Studio or how to execute SQL query in Visual Studio 2019. So at here I'm using Visual Studio 2019. So at here to execute to first go to tools tab and here you find SQL server. Now hereafter click on new query. So here this is the SSMS and here this all database and inside master this tables are present there. So this all system tables. Now here you can see this is at here SQL query. Now here we have uh, three different option local network Azure. So going to select at here local so it's uh, automatically taken Lenovo PC. So if I disconnect and here connect. So here you can see server name Lenovo PC. So this is local server. Okay. So that in Visual Studio automatically it's taken this local server. Now here after select this option. So if I select to selected this option. Now here server name and here we have uh, two authentication you can select SQL or Windows authentication so with Windows authentication no need to give any password or username but if you select at here SQL server authentication you need to give username and password so at here username SA and I have already given the password now here after so add here giving the username SA and let's skip the password and I want to add here database name so it's a default so you can select anyone so I'm going to select master let's check on advanced option so add here this all those things here data cell data source Lenovo and here this all those things now here after if you give all the information connect click on connect so it's uh, connected with the master you can select other also now master is uh, selected now here I'm going to do uh, on performing some query so I want to check at here tables so this is the query to check the tables now for execution here we have uh, to execution mode execute and execute with debugger so I executed now here this is the table cart log master schema DBO table name this all table type paste table and one is view like this you can uh, check all the database inside now here after you simply execute this so this all database present there master tam model and here this is the id and here this is the create date so like this you can perform any kind of uh, query inside visual studio so this is the best feature i think it's added on visual studio 2019 so if you don't want simply disconnect don't if you don't want to save now here after let's go to ask a new query so this time going to connect with local and here I'm not going to give any selecting this time ask a server it's find windows click on connect so it's connected now here after paste and here execute this so the same output it's uh, displaying here. Now here after let's uh, to disconnect and here tools. Now here after we have uh, uh, local it's uh, two option. Now here after network. So add here for network it's uh, loading. So if you have Azure account you can also add the account after that you can perform SQL server query at this place so I don't have any connection so that it's a no connection to display it's a display
add here as yet you have to add the account after that you can perform any kind of query so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you